On this episode of Pet Pinion, we have Xeno Raid by 10 Tons, an intense, dynamic space shoot 'em up. Hey, viewers. Xeno Raid is officially a good game, and I'm making it official right now. The mechanic for switching ships while in combat to dodge and save your ass, basically, is phenomenal. I am I've had so much fun playing this game. I don't I mean, you know, I don't think that it's you know, game of the year anyone's game of the year, but this is a solid title if you like these types of games. I you know you progress through the story and instead of like a time attack that these games are usually based off of this is more of a wave based and just blow up all the ships on the screen um, kind of situation. There is a, a more score oriented um, well, sorry I'm concentrating a more score oriented uh, survival mode that you know if that's kind of the thing you want to play it's there but the story mode is not like that which I really appreciate you know it's you know it, it mixes it up and it's different and I, I don't really care about score attack. I, I'm not going to face off or challenge anyone to a score attack. So why why would I play that? It doesn't make any sense to me. I never did. But I mean, I mean that's why I like this game so much. Since it doesn't have that. But yeah, I, I really like this game. It's very well put together. The controls are very good. And... It's, probably, it's one of more the more fun shoot 'em ups uh, shmup, I guess, or yeah, I guess so. I've played, so I'm, I'm I really, you know, if uh, really hope you consider getting this. I would say buy it. It is so much fun, and um, you know, it, the, the switching ships mechanic adds uh, like a dodge, and so you can really get out of the way of stuff, and it's a good way to save you from getting hit and it just makes you like I have two different kinds of um, guns on these ships now you know so like I can switch to this yellow one and it has a more shotgun spread but if I switch to this red one it has more of like a machine gun type weapon which um, you know makes it so that way you don't get bored of one type of gun at least initially you know uh, a lot of these games require like ammo pickups or weapon pickups so that way you can have experience something new and exciting while you're playing and this one just has different ships you can switch to and makes it like a really cool mechanic like you're flying in and out of the battle like you're switching who's on point and I really appreciate that I like that a lot about this game yeah I mean you know I've got a lot further into this than this mission this is like mission four of the initial but a recent update deleted my save file and I'm kind of sad about that. That's okay. I know that they, they have to put the game out. Uh, so, you know, there is even more of a reason to switch because you do not want to lose your ship. You will It will die permanently and you have to buy it again. And I can repair it and I have to click clicking repair. I wish there was like a repair. Oh, that was close. I wish there was a repair all button. So that way I didn't have to keep clicking all of the repair icons, but you do get different ship upgrades based on what kind of ship it is. And there's a tech lab where you can buy upgrades for all of your ships, which is really, you know, makes it a lot of, uh, makes it st strategic where you need to spend your money. And I like that as well. There's a co-op in the game. There's co-op and there is survival. Uh, you know, for, for the solo missions, there's this many, five different uh you know phases it's not just five different missions that's um each one has their own different set of missions as you can see on this screen um there's a collection and then there's a boss at the end and it's, it's i think it's all done very well i've um very well put together nothing too impossible but it all feels very challenging in you know and the co-op mode is actually more difficult to play but i think that's okay and i want to show you my favorite ship it has a flamethrower, which is really exciting for me. Unfortunately, these menus are just a lot easier. Whoops, <laughs> I just clicked the wrong button, sorry. 
These, mission, these menus are a lot easier to navigate with the mouse, but I'm playing on a controller. You don't have to play on a controller. I just chose that. Oh, that's not gonna work. Um, let's pick a few more of these things. I'm just gonna play. But the my favorite ship is the flamethrower one. So I showed you, yeah, these two are the ones that I was playing earlier. This one has a grenade launcher, which is pretty useful. And this is the flamethrower. I'm gonna say it's supposed to be plasma or something, but this is a ship where you just basically get up right next to something you wanna kill and flamethrower it to death. Like it's it's awesome. Oh, it's just disables. It's, it is great. It is so much fun to use, like, the risk-reward, because the, the it doesn't fire halfway across the screen, it's very limited, is amazing. But at the same time, the, um, you know, it does, like, a lot of damage. So there's, like, a really big risk-reward type of system there that I, I really appreciate. It is, it is by far the most fun thing in this game for me. I think that, you know, maybe somebody else would have um, other guns that they would really enjoy, but... For me, it's that one. It's fun. And um, just the fact that there's this, these different um, uh, ships in the game. You know, that's not it. That's not the only other ships. There are other ones for Phobos. Um, these ones, I'm just going to jump right in and play. And so there's this kind of gun. I mean, this seems kind of similar, but it handles differently. Uh, there's a laser, which is good. And what's this one? Oh yeah, I have no idea what kind of weapon this is. Or why you would ever be able to shoot this in a way that would be sane. Oh, wow, that is extremely strong, but very hard to aim. But, you know, there are a whole bunch of different kinds of ships here. I, I like that so much that it has that, that variety. Oh, what is that? Seeking missiles, I guess? I didn't make it to the, to, to get this, these, uh, guys in the main mission. I was going to come back to it, but like I said, it reset, so that's kind of unfortunate. That's fine. But yeah, you really got to watch your health to switch ships. You don't want to, especially in the story, uh, you don't want to lose a ship so foolishly, you know? And yeah, and um, it just like adds a completely new aspect to playing this type of game that you really want to watch with like the ammo of this ship and the heat levels and I do not like playing this ship at all. <laughs> I am not enjoying that one. That's fine though. I have four more and you could always sell it and switch to a different ship. You know, in the story it's kind of a, it's kind of difficult because uh, you know, it's they're expensive and so selling a ship in the story would be difficult. It's not unplayable here, you know, but I find this to be very difficult, but I do love the secondary gun. Um, oops. But yeah, I, I, it's, it's, it's fun. It is so much fun. I'm, you know, not like surprised, but also, but in some ways I'm just kind of surprised. It's so good. I'm enjoying it so much. And there's like all these different kind of enemies and bigger ships that you need to blow off and blow up. And they're, they break apart. So, you know, there's visible damage to them as it keeps going, as the, um, as you're taking them down. It's, yeah, it's very well put together, very well thought out. Uh, if you like this kind of genre at all, I would really suggest picking this up. I think it would be a very worthwhile, um, you know, playthrough game. I, you know, you should definitely, uh, check it out. It is... It's really fun. I like the uh, I like all of the aesthetic of this game. You know, the story is kind of tacked on, but I mean, it's just, who cares? It's just, you're you're here to blow up, you know, stuff, right? I don't think it. I don't think that matters so much. So, um, yeah, buy the game. Come in here, blow up some stuff, have fun. You know, it's uh, it's gonna be nine ninety nine. You know, at for for um, the initial cost, I, I assume there's some sort of discount initially, but I think it's worth it. I think it's it's a lot of fun, and I've really enjoyed my time with it. And that switching mechanic is a lot of fun. I mean, you know, you're not just stuck with just one ship, like the same thing over throughout the whole uh, 
you know, short mission. I mean, these aren't these aren't that long of missions, but it's just so much fun. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, if you made it this far in the video, I thank you very much for watching it, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Now that you reached the end of video hotline, I know that you're going to click the subscribe button to get future gaming videos that will be awesome. And I thank you now for clicking it, because I know you have. Thank you.